What is going on gamers, Evertrix here and today we're going to go ahead and go over the new pack that's out which is called New Year's Wishes. Now, I've looked over this pack and um, I don't really think it's worth it to be honest with you unless you just get like really really lucky but if you're only depending on luck to make a pack worthwhile uh, I don't know if it's really that worth it. Let's, let's just go ahead and go down the line. Now, it is a $5 pack, and if the $5 pack isn't really worth it unless you get lucky, I can only imagine if it goes up. Even if it does, the value would usually start to drop big time. So the first one is Chest of Splendor. Of course, you can get gems. You can even hit it big with 100,000 gems. But again, unless you get these two at the top, it's hardly worth the $5, and your chances at only three chests is not so great now there are people that are gonna go ahead and hit a hundred thousand ten thousand etc and for those people that's great but to be honest with you you're probably not gonna be one of those people i mean the chances are not in your favor the other thing is fortune chest once again you can hit it big and get a hundred thousand of them you can even hit it big and get twenty thousand but you only get two so the chances of that is fairly low and then the chances of either getting the high energy or the three day speed, uh, speed ups, not that great because it's only two chests. Then you also have two wishing stars, which of course, once again, you can hit it really, really big or just kind of get scraps. Only problem with that is that, it, uh, again, it's only two chests. So the ones that you can actually hit it really big and get super, super duper lucky, you only get like three and two chests out of. So. Chances are you're probably gonna walk out with not much. Now the other things that kind of fill it out is 20 of the Shaman, Saber Fang, Tidal Titan, Bon Appetit, and the Queen, Freaking Bee. I had a bad experience with the Queen Bee. But um, yeah, I mean, these chests are generally needed for most accounts unless you drop some serious cash on these, uh, you know, these sets already. But at the same time, 20 of each, whereas none of them really give you any sort of like jewel additionally outside of the Saber Fang. It's, it's a really hard sell for me as far as the value on this New Year's wishes. Now, if it the $20 pack, the $50 pack, if they start adding like a lot of great things, then maybe. But if the $5 pack, it's already kind of like eh value. I honestly wouldn't recommend it. I honestly would not. Unless you're just feeling really, really freaking lucky. Or unless you get lucky, it, you're really not just, you're not going to get your value back. There are many other packs out there that are worth the $5 packs, especially things like bursting with riches and things like that. This one doesn't really hold a candle to those kind of packs. So yeah, this New Year's Wishes is kind of a letdown in my opinion. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, also, if you have not already heard from my stream and whatnot, I am going to be driving up to New York later today. That's actually going to be happening in about six or seven hours or so. So I'm going to be putting up this video and then I'm also going to try to get up a couple of other videos while I'm away. I am going to be away probably four to five days-ish, I want to say. So there probably won't be many streams and if I do, it'll probably be more of a blog type of stream just if I'm doing something with the family or in the road trip. Probably will do that on the road trip because it is a like 19 hour drive. So yeah, it's not going to be very fun. So um, yeah, I'm going to be trying to do a couple of videos here and there. Uh, that way I can kind of schedule them while I'm away. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah. New Year's wishes, kind of a letdown. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Appreciate you guys for watching, and until later.